our manufacturing process is really unique in the fact that uh, div being able to do many different types of uh, sizes and shapes and, and things is really critical because uh, our customer base pretty much designs everything based on the different size and volumes and stuff that they need. They don't really standardize on any one right. size or shape. And then the next step we take is actually to start putting holes and things like that in it with the water jets. Through, uh, actually, the, the way we got into that is we have a specific customer that we were doing uh, the ends of the tanks for uh, in the cryogenic industry. And basically, they were um, their requirement was to actually have the holes put in it prior to um, getting it so that they would uh, not have to do that themselves. They were find the process of of burning holes in things uh, to be a very tedious uh, process. When you actually look at how long it takes to put this shape onto a table, locate exactly where you want a hole in it, um, how big of a hole you want, and then go in basically by hand or hole saw or whatever and cut it, um, it was a very time-consuming and very tedious process. And then there was also a good chance when you did cut the hole that um, it may be a little bigger or, or oblong or whatever than what it was supposed Not to be. Perfect. Not perfect, correct. And then, uh, so first of all, that that was the first issue. The second issue is you're dealing with thinner stainless steel materials that you're trying to weld pieces onto into those holes. And what they would find is that if that hole was a little egg shaped or a little not perfect and you would weld something into it, it has a great tendency to warp that that part that you welded it. So, so basically they started uh, dictating water jet. They, they, the other issue they have is by when you're welding thin materials in stainless steel, you really don't want a heat affected zone. So you don't want the material to be hardened by whatever cutting method you're using. If you're using like a plasma, if you're using a, a, a torch or something like that, you're actually changing the molecular structure of the material at that hole. So um, the only way to get around that would be to cut a smaller hole and then grind back to eliminate the heat affected zone, and then that was more labor, uh, more more expense to do it. It's still not the perfect, it's, it's still not the perfect cut. So, so what they found, they basically dictated us that we had to uh, get the holes cut, and we had to do it with something that didn't add heat to the material. So uh, water jet cutting was really the only option that we could come up with where we could economically do that. What we find when you actually cut it with five axes is you can actually cut the, the correct, sort of the perfect circle um, without having to do a lot of extra trial and error to, to get there. So, yeah, we had to have a perfect fit and a perfect cut. That was the key with, uh, with the machine that we ended up buying with the par, par uh, water jet. Um, we were able to have a machine that uh, fit all of these these issues that we were looking at and, uh, and operate very easily. And then it really came down to just uh, dealing with the people at PAR. Um, they were very professional people. Uh, we went up and actually visited their facility in Minnesota, and it was a first-class operation throughout. It allows you to do things that you just could not even do without it. Uh, this is our PAR integrated five-axis vector. Uh, we're looking at an 8x12 um, gantry style five-axis integrated five-axis cutting system, and it's used utilized for for doing contouring in in full 3D full five-axis cutting. There's a lot of two-axis machines out there, but our customers are looking for that competitive advantage. And with our five-axis integrated five-axis cutting system, we can cut just about anything, any contour with a three-foot Z, full eight by twelve rack and pinion drive. Um, open on all four sides so you can get access to all three, to all sides of the, um, of the cutting table for bringing product in and taking finished product out. Uh, this system's been in operation now for about two years, our tank components here, and they utilize it specifically for cutting, uh, for cutting tank heads, and it's, uh, it's a classic for, uh, for five axis. And they're also finding several other applications that, um, that appear at their doorstep uh, for doing work um, other than their own. So, so once the machine is here, um, other opportunities arrive. I akin it to if you had a spindle on the end of it, you could machine a basketball. So, so we're looking at true five-axis contouring here. Not only that, the system is an overhead gantry style technology, which again, which I mentioned before, you get full access to the cutting table. 
it is very accurate. Uh, this machine will perform down in the 5 thousandths or better range in 3D. Uh, absolute positioning never needs to be home. Point transformation. Put anything on the deck and you can uh, you can home it. There's there's no uh, no no homing required. No every zero zero point is set by the by the operator by the programmer. So um, very versatile system. Um, Cost-wise, uh, extremely competitive. Uh, PAR Systems has more five-axis uh, water jet systems out there than anybody else uh, today. And we utilize exclusively the KMT pumps. We've been with KMT now for over 20-some years. So we've got 27 years of, of uh, experience. Well, anybody that, has a, that, that does laser cutting, we do a lot of work in the aerospace industry. Aerospace uses a lot of composites, and uh, a lot of composites, a lot of 3D cutting. Our five-axis are used extensively in the aerospace industry. Uh, we sell a lot to, to the mom and pop job shops where um, like a water jet will cut virtually anything where if instead of buying a laser plasma, they buy a water jet, they can get it all done. And again, that the big deal is that five axis competitive advantage. We used it to build maintenance equipment. Um, we use it for um, all sorts of material uh, savings. We're able to take a block that before we'd have to machine and, and waste all the center, we can put it on water jet the center out and use that for another part. Um, I've just found it to be the most useful tool that we have in the shop. I mean, there's just an unlimited, it's only limited by your imagination what the machine can do. Yeah, well, you couldn't do that without five axis. I mean, we, we use it, we've used it as a drill, we've used it as a, as a saw, we've used it, I mean, to ultimately get that perfect cut. You demand.